I'm Marissa Vicario, founder of Marissa's Wellbeing and Health and creator of the Total Reset Plan. Today we're going to, I'm going to show you how to strain apples for applesauce. If you've been apple picking, you probably have a lot of apples on hand. One way to use them up is to make applesauce to keep on hand as a healthy snack. You'll want to start by cutting your apples roughly into chunks. Next, add your apple chunks to a pot. Next, add about two inches of water to your pot just to the level of the apples. Now I'm going to put my apples on the stove and bring them to a boil on high heat. And once it starts to bubble, I'm going to cover the pot and turn it down to a low simmer. I'll constantly check the apples just to make sure that the water level isn't getting too low. If it is, you can always add more water. So now we're going to check on our apples and it looks like they're just about done. You'll notice that the apples start to break down in the pot. Now for this step, most people use a Foley food mill to strain the apples away from the skins. But I'm going to show you a different method that is just as easy. I'm going to take the apple sauce and pour it into a vegetable steamer that is situated over a bowl or another pot. Then you can use a fork or a spoon or potato masher to push the apple sauce through the steamer. Once your applesauce has strained through the strainer and you're left with only skins, you'll be ready to season. So what I like to do is I like to add some coconut sugar, which is a low glycemic, all natural sweetener. If you don't have coconut sugar, you can use brown sugar. And then you can add some nutmeg and some cinnamon. And once your applesauce is seasoned and flavored and it's been allowed to cool, you can portion it out into containers, put some in the freezer for later, and store some in the refrigerator to eat as a snack for the next few days. And that's the best way to strain apples for applesauce. I'm Marissa Vicario, the founder of Marissa's Wellbeing and Health and creator of the Total Reset Plan.